Let's start by creating a new canvas for our project. I'm going to go from the character animation tab over here to the social tab and I'm going to click on this default right here, square, 600 by 600 and I'm going to press the create button right here. Alright, so up here on the timeline I'm going to go up to this little drop down button and I'm going to select large for the frame size, okay? Um, now let's draw in a quick background for this exercise. Now don't worry too much about the quality of the background again. In this lesson we're just focusing on adding, removing, and modifying our keyframes on the timeline. So the emphasis is up here on how the timeline works, not on the quality of your drawings, not on the quality of the actual animation. So just follow along with me as best as you can. I'm going to click on the paintbrush right here and I'm going to draw in a, a diagonal line right here and then I'm going to hold down shift and I'm going to draw in a horizontal line here one over here and then I'll hold down shift draw a vertical line here and a vertical line here okay in this space up here I'm going to draw in a, an ellipse and I'll draw an ellipse over here on this space okay and then I'm going to switch over to my paint bucket tool and I'm going to fill in this with black paint, both of these ellipses. All right, so now I'm going to go to my timeline. I'm going to rename this. I'm going to call this BG for background. I'll press return. And then I'm going to go to frame 25 right here. I'll click on frame 25. I'm going to right click and go to insert frame. And now I can move my playhead back and forth on the timeline, right? So I filled in frames 1 to 25. Now we can place keyframes anywhere between those two points. All right, so I'm going to lock this layer. And the reason I'm locking the layers, I don't want to accidentally erase or move the background, okay? So what we're going to do is we're going to place our animation on a second layer. So I'll go over here and create a new layer. I'll double click where it says layer 2 and I'm going to call this ball and then I'll press return. Alright, I can see I have a blank keyframe over here on frame 1. So let's create a drawing. I'm going to switch over here to my paintbrush and I'm just going to draw in a circle for a ball. So I'll press command Z and I'll try that again. Alright, so there's the ball and I want to fill this ball in with a color to make it a little bit more visible. So I'm going to switch over here to, I'm going to click over here on the fill color and I'm going to change this to just select a green color. Go over to the paint bucket and fill in the circle with green paint. So now what I want to do is I want to move the ball down. I want it to fall into this little portal right here and then I want it to come out over here and exit screen right. Okay. So I'm going to move the playhead from frame 1 to frame 2, and now I have to consider, do I want to draw a new ball over here on frame 2, or can I reuse the drawing from frame 1? And in this particular case, I can reuse the drawing. So I'll just click on frame 2 over here, and I'll press F6 to insert a keyframe. That creates a copy of the drawing on frame 1. I can take my selection tool and I can just move this down. And then I'll go to frame 3 and I have to think about, okay, I can use the previous drawing so I'll just press F6 to create a copy. I'll move it down. I'll go to the next frame on the timeline. I'll press F6, move that drawing down. Now here what I want is I actually want the ball to stretch out a little bit. So I want it to sort of feel like the portal is drawing the ball into it, like there's some kind of force pulling it in. So over here on frame 5, I'm not going to use the previous drawing. I'm going to create a new drawing. So in that case, I'll need a blank keyframe. So I'm going to right click, go to insert blank keyframe, and I'm going to turn on my onion skin so I can see the previous drawing. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the paintbrush, I'll change the color to black, and I'm just going to draw over the previous drawing, right? So I want to compress the ball and stretch it out. So I'm compressing it sort of on the x-axis and I'm stretching it out on the y-axis, okay? Now I might take my transform tool and select this and just make a fine adjustment here just to go a little bit further out on the x-axis. So now I have my new drawing. 
I'm going to go back to my fill color and I'm going to select that same green. Let's see if I can get the right green here. I'll fill this in with that green. Okay. And now what I'll do is I need to move this into place because it's over the previous drawing here. So I'm going to select it and I'm going to move it down. All right. So now I'm going to go to frame six. I'm going to right click insert keyframe and I'm inserting a keyframe because I want to reuse the previous drawing. So I'm going to move this down. So I want the ball to sort of go into this portal. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the lasso tool. I'm going to hit command plus to zoom in. And what I want to do is I want to select this bottom section of the ball right here. And then I'm going to press the delete key to delete that part of the drawing. So now it sort of looks like the ball is entering into this portal, right? I'm just going to hold down the space bar. It's going to give me the, the option to pan the canvas. I just want to be able to see the first portal and the second portal. So now I have to think about how do I make this ball disappear? And the way to do that is to add a blank keyframe and just leave it blank for a few frames, right? So if I go over here to frame seven, I right click and go to insert blank keyframe. The ball disappears, right? So we have no drawing. So now our brain's gonna interpret this as the ball is inside the portal, inside this box, right? And then I'll count a few frames. I'll go forward on the timeline a few frames. And then over here, I'm gonna right click insert another blank keyframe. I'll change the color here to black. I'll switch to my paintbrush and over here I'm going to draw the ball sort of coming out of the portal. Okay, so maybe I'll change the onion skin range so I can see the other drawings. So this is a little bit small, right? So I'll draw this a little bit larger. Okay, that's probably a little bit too large, so I might just take my transform tool and I might just compress this a little bit. Okay. So I'll unselect the, the drawing here. I'll switch the color over here to green. And I'll fill that in with green paint. So now, uh, I'm going to go to frame 12. I'm going to right click, insert a keyframe. And I want to, I want to just create a duplicate of that drawing and then I want to go back one frame to frame 11. I'm going to turn off the onion skin. And I'm going to take this drawing and I'm going to move it halfway into the portal right here. Now I can take my lasso tool and I can lasso this section right here on the left side. I'll press delete and now it looks like the ball is exiting the second portal over here, right? So if I look at frame 11, the ball is exiting, and then go to frame 12, and we see the entire ball sort of stretched out, okay? Now I'm gonna go to frame 13, and I can redraw a ball over here, or I can go back to one of the previous frames. So I'm gonna hold down the space bar, click and drag and sort of move this over. So you can see I have a drawing right here of the ball. I can recycle this. So I can go over here to this frame, right? I've selected frame four. I'm gonna right click and go to copy frames, right? And then I can go to the new space over here on frame 13. I can then right click and select paste frames. All right, so I have this drawing over here. Now all I have to do is just drag, click and drag and move this over, right? And then I can turn on the onion skin and I can sort of see where am I over here. I'd like to maybe move this over a little bit more, okay? I'll go to frame 14 and I'm going to press F6 to insert a keyframe. I'm gonna move this over. I'll press F6, move this over press F6 and move it off the frame here. Okay. So let's turn off the onion skin. I'm going to press command minus to zoom out. I'll hold down the space bar and just move my canvas over. I just want to sort of view the whole animation now. So I'm going to move the playhead back to frame one and then I'm going to hit play. Okay. And we can sort of see that some of these frames, the ball is like selected. 
So we can go through these frames one at a time. We can view our animation one frame at a time. If you look at your keyboard, sort of towards the bottom above the space bar, there's a comma key and a period key. If you press the period key, you go forward. If you press the comma key, you go back on the timeline. All right, period moves forward, comma back. So you can also look at the arrows above the period key and the comma key, and there's like a greater than symbol, less than symbol, so you can sort of think of that as forward and back. So let's go to frame two. I can see that's selected. I'm gonna take my selection tool and I'm just gonna unselect this drawing by just clicking somewhere else. I'll press the period key. And here we have another frame on five that's selected. So I'll unselect it. I'll go forward by pressing the period key, unselect. I'll unselect here, just clicking outside of the drawing. I'm just pressing the period key to move forward on the timeline and unselecting these drawings. Okay. So now I'm just going to watch this again. I'll press the return key to play the animation. And you can see the ball is falling from here into that portal. It's disappearing here. It's traveling. And then it comes out the other portal and exits on screen right. So it looks like we have some extra frames here. So I'm going to select by just clicking and dragging, right? I'll select all these frames. And then I'm going to right click and go to remove frames. Okay. Great. So now what I'd like you to do is create another exercise like this. And I'm not going to walk you through this step by step. I want you to create this using all the techniques and methods that I've shown you so far. The animation should look like this. The ball falls through and then goes out the other end, going from the left side to the right side. All right. So you're going to use all the techniques that I discussed earlier in the video, applying all of the information that you've learned about the timeline in previous videos as well. Right. So we're going to start with the ball up here at the top, it's going to come down, it's going to stretch out as it approaches the hole, goes inside, disappears, so we have a blank keyframe here so that we don't see any drawings, and then it comes out the other end and goes off the screen, okay? All right, so I want you to complete this exercise, save it to your documents folder, and then save a second copy of this file to the Dropbox so you receive credit for the assignment.